Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. I make booktube and study videos here on YouTube and today's supposed to be a gloomy, weird day, hence this look. I am filming a book talk and book review on The Romantics by Leah Conan. I actually picked this book up at Y'all Fest. They were giving out free books um, at different tents. Um, I'll probably put links in the description bar down below because this is a fairly newer book. This book came out in November, I think. I spent about like 20 minutes trying to figure out what I wanted to say in this video. So I made a script of what I wanted to say. So I'm just gonna go off of this. And so if I keep looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. So I'm going to try and break this video up into different sections just to keep my thoughts organized. That's why I had to write everything down. So first off, The Romantics follows the story of Gail Brennan, a high school senior. He is what Love would call a romantic. So by the way, the story is narrated by Love, him or herself. I can't remember if the book specified whether Love was a boy or girl, um, so I'm just gonna say him or herself. Basically, Gail tells his girlfriend at the time that he loves her and he finds out about the next day or next week or so that his girlfriend was cheating on him with his best friend, which is very crappy for Gail. Gail meets this other girl, she's a college student, and he basically finds himself falling in love with her. Love is trying to point all of the arrows and all of the signs towards Sammy. Sammy is Gail's little sister's babysitter. Love is basically trying to tell Gail that they were meant to be and it should be Sammy. Also, while this is all happening, Gail's parents are currently separated. It really affects him and it affects his sister and you can really see it unravel throughout the story. So that was the little background that you needed. Um, I give this book a three and a half stars out of five. So now I'm going to tell you guys what I liked and what I didn't like and what prevented me from giving this book a five out of five stars. So first off, if you're anything like me and you don't read a lot of romance books, you don't really like it, it's the yada yada yada, this book it will still be entertaining. I love that this book was narrated by Love, him or herself, once again, wasn't specified, um, because I could see everything happening in my head. Love was very descriptive and the storyline was just very descriptive. So. I was able to imagine it all and it really was like a romantic comedy. That gets, um, I really loved the very, very end of the book. Not Gail's ending, but after Gail's ending, if that makes any sense. There's basically a final note from Love and it tells the story of this guy at this airport and you just, you need to read it to understand what I'm saying because I don't want to put any spoilers. I want this to be a spoiler free book review. By the way, that very, very ending was kind of a way a romantic comedy would kind of end. Um, lastly, about stuff that I love, I love that there were little footnotes at the bottom of each page describing different types of lovers that love meets or love come across. For example, you have the serial monogamous, you have the dreamer, and you have the romantic, which is what Gail is. So those are just some things that I really loved about this book. I don't read a lot of young adult romance novels and I just thought this was really cute and really refreshing to read so even if you're not a romance type reader you will still find this book entertaining. You know, just some things that I didn't really like. In my opinion I think there are two endings in this book. You have the final note then you have the airport scenes. I wasn't a fan of the airport scenes because I just thought they extended for way too long for how the airport scenes ended. It just it kind of pissed me off. I was just like that's it. That's that's it. I gotta stop doing that. Also, none of the characters were that notable. There, there weren't that amazing. Um, I just thought maybe if it was in Gail's point of view, maybe we would have learned more about Gail himself. The only character I can really think of that really stood out was Piper, which is Gail's little sister. She was just very smart. She was a smart aleck. Um, very much was. I think because of her, she made the ending happen. She sent this text. This was just a very cute and refreshing book to read. I would highly suggest it to those who are like me, just don't read a lot of romance books, but want to try and read more books like these because it's all over the young adult community. So yeah, I will probably pick this up again in the very far future after I forgot the storyline and everything. So with that being said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. It'll make me very happy. Um, I have a video coming out this Saturday. I'm still not sure what it's gonna be. I might be wearing the same stuff again. I might be filming, I don't know. So we'll see how this goes. Bye, everybody.